To make the chocolate modeling paste, we need the chocolate, water, glucose, and a spatula, thermometer, and some clean film. So we'll start by melting the chocolate. We'll put the white colors into the microwave, medium power, for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we'll stir, making sure that the heat is evenly distributed between the colors. Then we'll put the bowl back into the microwave for further 30 seconds. We'll take the bowl out and start stirring. The chocolate will be completely melted at this point, especially that the glass bowl intends to preserve the temperature. And the chocolate will have now about 38 to 39 degrees. Once we've got this fully melted, we'll heat up the water to about 60, 70 degrees and we'll pour the water over the glucose. That will help to create a glucose syrup, quite runny. We aim to get the syrup to a temperature of about 38 degrees. Once we've got the syrup at 38 degrees, we can pour the sugar solution over the chocolate, the melted chocolate, and we can start folding in this syrup. The chocolate will get to a much firmer consistency and start looking like a paste. We'll spread this paste on a thin layer over the cling film and then we'll wrap and lift the paste to set or crystallize overnight or if urgent, we can use it after two or three hours. So that's the minimum setting time required. Ideally will be to store the paste in a cool room at about 18 to 20 degrees temperature, 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Not in the fridge, not in a freezer, just in a cold spot to help the chocolate to crystallize. Now, after resting for about two hours, the chocolate modeling paste started to crystallize. It looks a little bit crumbly, but when you start kneading, the heat of the hands will help the paste to get soft and pliable. Due to the high percentage of fat, this paste will be very sensitive to the temperature of your hands. So you have to make sure that you only keep the paste in your hands for the required time. And if you have to put more details onto the figurine, you will have to make sure that the paste will rest on a cool surface, not in your hand, as you will start melting. To color this paste, you will have to use either edible dust colors or cocoa butter colors. I'm using some dust coloring just for the purpose of demonstrating. So you, all you have to do is just to sprinkle some dust powder and start kneading. Not the ideal option of coloring this paste, but the result is very good. Ideally would be to use some specialized type of coloring based on color cocoa butter. But this will have a good will give us a good result into our paste. Paste can be stored for up to a week at the room temperature, as long as the temperature doesn't go over 22 degrees, or it can be stored in a fridge for a month or freezer, well wrapped as it intends to absorb the odors.